Here we are, my favorite spot. Oh, fuck. Target. What's Sherry Broke Boy? So in this video, you're gonna learn how to properly style dollar menu streetwear because not everyone can afford this shit. I'm just chilling with my McNugs. <laughs> I'm gonna break it down into three things, and they're gonna be essentials, thrift stores, and uh, random shit. So yeah. Also, big fucking news, I'm producing a new concept slash series on the channel, so if you wanna stay tuned to the end of the video to learn more about that, that would be great. Thanks. But yeah, you don't need to ball the fuck out on some basic stuff. That's not new news. You know what the difference between this and this is? The fucking letters. Also, one's like fucking 10 times more and you don't need to be doing that. It's like porn. Why would you pay for something when you don't need to? You know, premium or not, a good nut is a good nut. Target is a great spot that I always vouch for. You know, when I was broke, oh, fuck. back in high school, I used to shop at Target all the fucking time because they honestly have a decent clothing department for both men and women. You can definitely look stylish in some basic stuff. You don't have to buy the most expensive pair of pants. Like, dude, I even wear the same pair of pants every damn day, and they could be from anywhere. You will know that. These could be from Old Navy, for all you know. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You know, they're co they're completely fine. I'm just saying. <laughs> Main thing I'm trying to get at is if it's logo less and it looks good for the low, I don't see the problem at all. Like, sure, the quality might be there, but bo you don't see anyone complaining about a fucking McChicken. Do you ever hear anyone say, oh, the quality of McChicken sucks. That's why I don't eat it. Also, who the fuck ever gets this one? Obviously. Exactly. Cheap streetwear. <laughs> no one complains about the fucking McChicken. No one's gonna cuck you with some cheap black pants. Next up, we got thrift stores. Thrifting was pretty thick fat back in like 2013, 2016 era. It's kind of faded off the mainstream, but you definitely should not disclude it from the options today. I still thrift every now and then, but you know, I'm probably gonna pick it back up again because writing the script now, I realize why the fuck not? It's fun and you know, it's cheap you know it gets you at the house oh also fucking thrift dates too telling you works a hundred percent of the time here's a satisfied customer not a fucking actor yeah frugal aesthetic took me on a thrift date and i'm a hundred percent satisfied is that is that is that what i'm saying yeah i'll just edit it so it looks real Thrifting is definitely a gamble, but 2018 is about doubling down and taking risks, so take your shot at your local thrift. You don't even have to be into vintage stuff strictly. There are all kinds of stuff you can find in there. This is a piece I lucked out on at a local thrift, and it's probably one of my favorite things ever. But yeah, some good spots are like Goodwill, Savers, and even just Googling some thrift stores in your area will get you some unique spots to your location. Just give it a sample. It's fucking cherry, I promise. Lastly, we got random shit, and I know y'all are wondering what the fuck this topic even means. I'm just sometimes you can find random shit in random places that are low-key good like the fucking air airport bro my flight got delayed one day and like i went to buy a bottle of water from a hudson's but instead i got this oversized embossed sweater for 22 dollars you can't find much for 22 dollars in 2018 it's fucking expensive the word millennial just sounds fucking premium like you got to pay monthly for this title and you know it's just it's a solid sweater it was soft as hell i cuddled with it on the plane main point is sometimes places that you don't expect to buy clothes from have random merch or designs that you might end up liking for the low even like college athletic clothing just buy a size up and you got some vintage looking tees for like 20 dollars. not everything in your closet has to come from the mall or some thick online shopping website definitely have fun finding you shit that no one else has and make it your own like all that has hats from random spots or like your dad's closet or both i don't fucking know you never know man if you don't want to look like everyone else don't shop where everyone else shops all right so to wrap this up okay so thanks for watching the video guys and thick fucking news i'm producing and writing a new show on the channel based around taking people shopping for an event or something that they got going on in their life it's gonna be a fun way to showcase how to style and shop for outfits for various situations and it's another angle for me to create content and keep things fresh definitely gonna be collabing with a lot of people for this so you know put your favorite youtubers down below so i can reach out make some shit happen don't worry though i'll still be uploading videos on this format but it will definitely be mixed in depending on how this new series interacts with my new lifestyle but more updates on this coming soon so let me know what you think on my socials my instagram is christian vy as usual and if you want to reach me i'm pretty active on twitter now at christian vyyt email me at frugal at gmail.com for anything and yeah guys looking forward to this next chapter for this channel stay cherry respect women but most importantly 